I've spoken before about the thin line that a good modern retro game has to walk, where they find the balance between contemporary ideas and accessibility and old school challenge. Cyber Shadow, an homage to NES action games like Ninja Gaiden, takes steps to find that sweet spot but ultimately feels 30 years late to the party, thanks to its frustrating difficulty and a painfully slow drip feed of skills that actually make the game more interesting to play. On the surface, Cyber Shadow is a tight and responsive 2D action platformer. Moving and jumping feels precise, your attacks are snappy to execute, and while you do begin with a rather limited moveset, you gradually unlock more attacks and abilities over time, such as projectiles, downward strikes, and wall jumps. Although these abilities do give the initial simple gameplay some depth and complexity, I think it takes far too long for the game to roll out its most fun skills, such as the wall jump, dash, and double jump. There are some truly fantastic fast-paced sequences in the game's back half, but they usually left me lamenting the long stretch of game before them more than anything. That isn't to say that the game's early stages are bad, they just aren't particularly interesting. Until you get the dash ability, you move surprisingly slowly, and without a double jump or wall jump, Cyber Shadow's platforming is simple to a fault. That leaves the game's level design and enemies to pick up a lot of the slack, for better and for worse. A lot of the earlier challenges stem from dealing with aggressive enemies that home in on you until they're killed, or working out how to bypass their projectile patterns to get in for the kill, but the game's use of a classic Castlevania-style knockback makes for challenges that are more frustrating than satisfying, and the high damage output and often sneaky placement of hazards and enemies means you'll usually die during your first time encountering them. This trial and error approach to enemy and hazard design makes progression in Cyber Shadow feel like a slog at times, and this isn't helped by the game's conservative use of checkpoints. On multiple occasions, I found myself clearing tough gauntlets of enemies and obstacles only to find a checkpoint multiple screens after it would have made sense to have one. This is mitigated a tiny bit by the game's use of specific points of permanent progression, such as certain enemies that stay dead after being beaten once, or shortcuts that persist after death. I say a tiny bit because this really only felt impactful on two or three occasions where the progression points allowed me to skip entire screens, but the idea certainly isn't used to its fullest potential here. Before moving on from checkpoints, I think it's also worth pointing out that they offer a limited amount of player choice. Using points that you accumulate via pickups, you can unlock features at each new checkpoint you visit, such as special meter refills and the use of specific power-ups when you respawn. And this is a cool idea that, in theory, lets you dictate the game's difficulty on the fly by enabling assists as you see fit. The problem here is that your special moves, such as the Empowered Downward Strike and Shuriken, aren't game-changingly powerful, and you're limited to the power-up that the game offers you at the time, some of which aren't really all that helpful. Sometimes you'll get the super useful Orbital Shield and Empowered Sword Strikes, sure, but sometimes you'll get a dispenser that slowly refills your special meter, or a gun that just kind of does what it wants. Strangely, the checkpoints also offer an unlockable health refill when you respawn, which I feel like should be a given. Like, if your checkpoint isn't at least refilling your health, you've fucked up. But whatever, if your experience is anything like mine, you're likely to have more than enough points at any given moment to unlock all options at most checkpoints anyway, which makes its potentially interesting gimmick mostly ineffectual. I know it sounds like I'm really down on the gameplay of Cyber Shadow, because I kind of am, but there are things to like about the game. As I said, it is generally a pretty tight experience, and disregarding the trial and error nature of many of Cyber Shadow's challenges, the precision platforming can feel really rewarding. In particular, once you get the advanced traversal moves and find yourself blasting across the screen, chaining dashes, double jumps and wall jumps together, the game becomes fast and frantic, and it is awesome. It's just a shame that the game makes you endure three or four hours of pretty okay Ninja Gaiden before giving you the coolest toys to play with. With that said, even the game's high points aren't without issue, as using the dash is the only time Cyber Shadow's controls didn't feel entirely responsive to me. Sometimes when double tapping a direction to initiate a dash, the game just wouldn't pick up on my inputs, leaving me strolling away from imminent death like a jerk. Beyond these brief glimpses of platforming excellence, Cyber Shadow also offers some exciting boss fights that will push your pattern recognition and bullet hell dodging skills to the limit. Plenty of them suffer from the same challenge issues as the rest of the game, such as trial and error design and high damage output, but they're much more palatable thanks to their close proximity to checkpoints. They can still feel unfair, don't get me wrong, but at least you aren't slogging your way through huge chunks of a level to regain lost progress here. The boss fights are also home to many of the game's coolest bits of animation and sprite art, which is generally pretty solid across the board. In terms of its visuals, Cyber Shadow is a lot darker than most retro homages tend to be, giving the game a gloomy tone, and its sprite art is detailed without losing the simple look that comes with its NES inspiration. This look is accompanied by sound effects that make cutting down robots fairly satisfying, before the frustration sets in at least, but the real show stealer here is Cyber Shadow's soundtrack. From its creepier, more atmospheric tracks to the pulse-pounding chiptune medleys that match Cyber Shadow's often frantic gameplay, the game's soundtrack features a surprising amount of variety. 
No matter if I was having fun with the game or was on the verge of rage quitting, I was almost always nodding my head along to its fantastic music. By comparison, Cyber Shadow's story was far less memorable than its presentation. It puts you in control of Shadow, a recently revived cyber ninja who awakes following a blast that presumably killed them. Following the blast, the world has been overrun by synthetic entities that are hunting down Shadow's clan members, and it's up to you to find your master and save your fellow ninjas. It's pretty generic, but the story also feels right at home in this NES-style homage, and I did find the side stories and subplots told via computer logs and the remains of your clanmates to be more interesting than your typical old-school video game fare, even if it does take itself far too seriously for my liking. At the end of the day, if all you want out of Cyber Shadow is a faithful NES experience with some, but not all, of the harsher edges sanded off, then the game won't disappoint. And if the game does sound appealing to you, it also offers a decent amount of replay value, with optional challenge sequences in areas that you can only reach with late game skills, usually offering health or special meter upgrades as a reward. But even without seeking out every little extra challenge in the game, Cyber Shadow can take around 7 to 8 hours to finish, which was more than enough for me. So with all that said, Cyber Shadow is mediocre. With lackluster checkpointing and a trial and error approach to enemy and level design, Cyber Shadow's generally tight gameplay comes off as more frustrating than satisfying. There is still a lot to like about the game, such as its late game abilities, solid sprite art, and excellent soundtrack, but for me at least, Cyber Shadow feels jarringly outdated. If that slavish devotion to old school challenge doesn't turn you off, then maybe give this one a look, but for others, I would recommend waiting for it to go on sale before checking it out. Cyber Shadow is available on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, PS4, PS5, PC, and Mac.